Well, the original plan was to uh, do the briefing at 10.30 and then roll out about 10.50, so we're on the pads at 11, which is about exactly when the rain started rolling in. Uh, and there's no way that we can, uh, we can fly with the rain. We've got liquid oxygen, uh, and if we started loading locks in this kind of weather, we'd pick up 20, 30 pounds of ice on the tank. We'd be way too heavy, and we wouldn't have sufficient burn time. Plus, it makes it difficult to get the fit-ins on, uh, on the locks connectors. Uh, it, it just it would not have been a, a safe decision. <clears throat> so we've been sitting here now for the better part of four hours, uh, just watching the clock tick by and looking at the radar. Um, the first problem we had was that the front that looked like it was going to clear out after about an hour or two, uh, we kept building moisture up on the backside. It was picking moisture up from the lake, uh, and it's only just now cleared it. Right now it looks like we're about 20, 30 minutes away from being able to pull stuff outside. The next problem we had is we've had so much rain that the access to the pads is getting really troublesome. The 60,000-pound uh, crane truck in the background, uh, we think we can get that in and out okay, but we're worried about doing that with the trailer attached to it. So right now, we, we just made a quick decision. We're going to offload the vehicle from the current trailer onto a backup, uh, pull that with, uh, with a, with a four-wheel uh, pickup truck, and have the crane truck go on on its own. So uh, if we get the break, and it looks like the rain is getting a little bit lighter out there, uh, we should be able to head out to the pads in about, uh, about 20 minutes. It'll be a little larger convoy than last time.